What's going on you guys? So today I want to talk to you guys about the KRK Rocket DSP driven onboard EQ. Um, basically this onboard EQ that they've added uh, for the fourth generation is really really great um, and it allows for people to kind of fine-tune their monitors to the room a little bit better. Um, this is a very very sort of modern technology that you're finding a lot today in modern monitors um, although KRK is uh, one of the few that I've used that uh, actually has an LED um, built in the back to make this a, a bit easier. Um, back it up for a second if you don't really know much about KRK um, do know that they were, they released their first speakers back in 2003, I believe it was. Um, and those were the Generation 1 monitors. Um, and now we're in 2020 and we're at the Generation 4. Right now you're currently looking at the KRK Rocket G4 8. That means they have the 8-inch woofer right here. Um, there's also 5, 7, and the 10.3 near-field monitors, um, which all the way across most of the features remain pretty much the same um, in terms of like dimensions and things like that that kind of changes but uh, yeah um, KRK up until pretty much the generation 4 uh, KRKs were known for being some of the most budget friendly uh, monitors but also unfortunately um, some of the more cheaply made monitors um, and their low end was never really that great um, which is probably a lot of the reason why uh, they were so budget friendly uh, they never really worked out the kinks there and they always kept this kind of like hyped low end um, that never really worked well for mixing uh, you know because when you're mixing you need um, a really flat frequency response across the entire spectrum you need to have that sort of honest um, uh, feel or honest sort of sound when you're when you're using these so these uh, un unfortunately did not um, Which was you know, uh, I think the reason also why they began putting these onboard EQs there um, To show people hey not only have we worked out the low end with this, you know, the Kevlar uh, Cones and the front firing base ports in the generation 4 models, but we've also given you the opportunity to um, you know fine-tune uh, your monitors if need be so I'm going to kind of go over here and show you the back really quick so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on back here. Uh, 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 so uh, as you can see right here on the back, you have this high resolution DSP room tuning module. It's an LED screen. Very, very simple to use. And of course you can, you know, scroll through, go to the EQ, go to the setup and tune depending on what you want to do. So I can go to the low EQ or the high EQ right here. I can go flat or of course I can make some shelves going higher or lower saying if I want to you know maybe tame my high frequencies a little more bit more or boost them up I can do either one of those and I can also do the same thing with the low EQ as well uh, which is great. You can also turn up just the overall volume of your monitors too, which is nice. Um, there are actually 25 different settings um, that are here, um, and those can, you know, help your help condition your acoustic environment that you're working in. Um, and it just makes basically makes your monitors a bit more versatile. Um, you know, you, whether you're doing. Uh, you know, no matter what kind of room you work in, because a lot of a lot of rooms, and especially a lot of untreated rooms, have a lot of low frequency problems in them. So it could be very useful if you are using these in an environment that maybe needs uh, a bit more help at the low end. Um, all right, guys, that's pretty much it uh, with the KRK Rocket uh, DSP driven onboard EQ. Uh, if you guys have any insights or questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, take it easy.